Uh, the other thing I found out is not all women like Robson Green. <laughs> that was a bit of a shock. I thought all women like Robson Green, no? Actually, when I think about it now, it was just me. <laughs> That's when they got suspicious. <laughs> and the other thing I found out is, you know, there's really tight leggings a lot of women are wearing these days. You know, the really, the really tight leggings, right? Apparently they're comfortable. It doesn't look it to me. Everything all bunched together. Like a badly crimped pasty. <laughs> I was on a bus, I was oh. and then oh, there's another one there. Oh, yeah. I felt like someone had given me x-ray specs and I couldn't take them off. Oh, oh, oh. There's a woman walking towards me the other day. Honestly, they were so tight, I thought Pac-Man was coming to get me. <laughs> I'm not suggesting women wear the burqa or anything. But just, you know, a T-shirt, a considerate T-shirt, you know. I think that's a basic human right, isn't it? You know, you should be able to leave your house and not have to look at people's actual asses. I think that's a basic human right. I asked, I asked some women I know, right, not in Mum's Net, in the real world, whether they thought that bit of material was sexist at all. I thought I'd test it. I'd just check, right, check whether it's sexist, you know, because it's sort of, you know, prescribing what I think women should wear, you know, it's quite a contentious issue. So I asked them if they thought it was sexist, and they all, what, they, yes, that was what they said there, they thought it was. <laughs> But they didn't take long to think about it. They just went, yes, it is. And then they started coming at me with banners and stuff. And it... <laughs> <laughs> I had my headphones on, I didn't, I, I didn't turn on. But if it is sexist, right, if it is sexist, which it may well be, I cite the cholesterol defence, right? You know the cholesterol defence? You ever heard that defence? You remember when cholesterol came out about 20 years ago? Remember they brought cholesterol out, right? <laughs> it was a new scary thing, like cholesterol's going to kill you. It was all bad, wasn't it? All cholesterol was bad. But then it turns out, ten years later, oh no, there's good cholesterol, and there's bad cholesterol. You know? So you know, it's, not, it's not quite as clear as we said. I think the same thing applies with sexism. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, wait, cause that, that's actually not a joke. You're just clapping the idea. Fucking just women. <laughs> just, women, come on. Have a go at them, Sean, come on. <laughs> I oh, know, it's a brilliant alleyway. Come and join me. Um, <laughs> steady on. I've just, just come up with an idea. I haven't actually done a joke yet. Um, but no, 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 I'm not saying... I'm, the majority, what I'm saying is I think the majority of sexism, obviously, is bad. It's very, very bad. But I think surely if something's got a ring of truth to it, it's acceptable. You know, it's acceptable, right? <laughs> I'll give you an example, right? You know, I think it'd be wrong to say, it would be wrong to say that all women like celebrity gossip magazines. That would be wrong, wouldn't it? But I think it would be fair to say, who the fucking hell else buys them? <laughs> I think that's like good cholesterol, isn't it? That's... All right. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Do you like the set? <laughs> That was a long meeting. Because <laughs> we, were, we were arguing till dawn about, ah, oh, what were we gonna, I, I wanted like an alpine scene. <laughs> and then I saw the budget. <laughs> and we forgot it one night. <laughs> oh God, that was hilarious. That was, uh, <laughs> I was all over the place. But um, I'll save that anecdote for the book. Anyway. <laughs> Too good. It's literally too good. The night we forgot the set. Um, so um, I would say my, the main personality flaw that I suffer from. I mean, dickhead. I dabble. I'll have a bash, but it's not my. It's not my strong area. Um, the main people think say, say to me. The main criticism people have of my personality. They say you're a very cynical man, Sean. Aren't you? You're a very cynical human being. And I don't like being cynical. I don't want to be cynical. I try to do things that make me less cynical. I stop. I stop watching the news for a while. I thought that would help. But it doesn't matter, to be honest. Just walking down the street sets me off. The other day I was walking down the street, I walked past Weatherspoons, and I noticed they were advertising brunch. They had a big sign-up saying, come in for brunch. 
Well, how evil is that? Right? How many corridors of denial do you want to create for alcoholics? <laughs> they go, where have you been? Brunch! <laughs> oh, I can't go out and have some fucking brunch now. <laughs> it's a mid-morning snack. <laughs> I miss breakfast. So uh, brunch. <laughs> brunch, 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 brunch. <laughs> I know the reason I missed breakfast was because I had brunch yesterday. I know that. I know that. I know. I'm in a bit of a brunch cycle at the moment. Yeah, you know, anything, you know. Internet gambling, internet gambling. Not, not the gambling itself, just the, the level of advertising. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's a bombardment. I've worked out. I haven't been encouraged to do something as much since potty training. <laughs> since both parents are standing over me going, Go on, Sean, do a wee on the potty. Go on, then. There's a good boy. Good. Do a wee on the potty. I'm sitting there going, Oh, I really want to impress them. Do a wee on the potty. <laughs> but now it's like, Go on, Sean, put a bet on. Mansfield are bound to beat Derby. <laughs> Three one, you'd be crazy. You'd be crazy not to put a bet on that. All right. Okay, it's not the best punchline, but it's a good point. <laughs> People drinking coffee. Oh, that. Oh. What's happened to us as a society? People just. They just drink coffee. Everybody's like, mm, I'm going to have a coffee. I'm going, what are you going to do today? I'm going, well, I went, what did you do? I went for a coffee. People talk about drinking coffee like it's an activity, like they've done something <laughs> with their day, like they've been canoeing or something. <laughs> you know, like, what did you do? Well, I went with, I'm out with Dave and Janet, we went for a coffee. So you did fuck all then. You know? <laughs> I wouldn't mind if they went to the Brecon Beacons and had a coffee. At least. They'd made some kind of effort. They're just going to have a coffee with free Wi-Fi and the sofa. <laughs> mm. And if it's outside Starbucks, don't get me started. You know, oh, I lose my shit outside there every time. If ever I'm outside Starbucks, I just mouth. I stand outside, look in the window, and I mouth to the other customers, what the fuck <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> they don't pay tax. Go to Greg's. 